so here we can see that you being changed Ghost is the answer. Holy Ghost, you're guiding the earth today. Holy Ghost, you're guiding the earth today. Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost the earth is today. God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by Holy saying Ghost, words. The earth My name today. is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. The if Father this is your first time here, fun. make sure you subscribe. If this right isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5, by faith, Enoch was translated and was not found because God had translated him. Yes. For before his translation, say before his translation. Before his translation. He had this testimony that he pleased God. What is a testimony? It's something you say. Yes. Say a testimony, a testimony is something I, say. something I say. So Enoch had something that he would say before he was translated. Translated means he was changed. He was, he was changed. Obviously here, Enoch, we're talking about he was changed from this world into a completely different world, into another realm. But translated means he was changed. He was changed from one place to the next place. But it was because he had something, right? Yes. So Enoch had something that other people didn't have. He had something he would say that other people didn't say. Are you here? Yes. So here we can see in this example of Enoch that you being changed is the answer yes. for you to go from one reality to another reality mm -hmm. what's the solution you being changed well people don't change you ever heard that people don't change well that's unscriptural mm -hmm. enoch changed say enoch changed, enoch changed. we change we go from glory to glory mm -hmm. and when we go from the one glory to the next glory that requires us to change are you here mm -hmm. well I'm changed I'm on a completely different level than I was before I had to leave others behind to go here I had to leave me behind to go here things that I used to think things that I used to believe things that I used to say I had to stop saying mm -hmm. in order to be changed to go here Amen. Yes. say I had to leave me behind, I had to leave me behind. if you're gonna change you're gonna be different than what you were before you gotta leave that person behind yeah. and don't be, feel sad for him okay. did enoch disappear he did, he did. Yes. people were like where do you go you disappear from the radar of people not on that level of glory they don't get it they're like where'd you go you went somewhere else that they they just weren't prepared for doesn't mean you physically disappeared yet but where you're living you're the reality you're living in is different it's not even on their radar anymore you've disappeared from them are you getting this where'd he go <laughs> each new glory that you go to there are some people that won't go there but others will say others will others will and those are the people you want to be around it with anyway because we're going on and that means some people need to be left behind including the old you mm -hmm. say goodbye old me goodbye old me what if you go on to youth renewal are you going to say goodbye old you yes. <laughs> goodbye poor me mm -hmm. hello rich me yes. goodbye sick me hello healed me it's a new glory that you go to well each new glory requires new hearing 
new believing new thinking i'm not the heretic you think i am see i've disappeared from people's radar they all oh, he went off into heresy mm -hmm. what you don't believe makes me look like one in your eyes you're real strong on i don't believe that we don't believe that and so when i go into that and i believe it and i stand there and live it and i've disappeared from you you think i'm a heretic no i'm just happy <laughs> the holy ghost is god in the earth today and i walk with him by saying words that's a testimony that a lot of people don't have so let us go on to another level of testimony your confession the things you say you think you're gonna get there without your your testimony changing no let's go on to another level of testimony one that transforms you say one that transforms me genesis chapter 5 verse 21 and enoch enoch lived 60 and five years and begat methuselah how old is he right now in this verse he's 65 and enoch walked with god what's that say after he begat Methuselah see now Enoch was not walking with God for 65 years he was 65 years of age before he began verse 24 and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed to be agreed literally means to say the same thing we walk with god by saying the same thing speaking in agreement with god translated enoch it changed him he was changed god didn't change what he said to what enoch was saying enoch started walking with god it did not say god started walking with enoch when he was 65 years old no. enoch changed what his testimony was to walk with god get this straight speaking in agreement with god changed and translated enoch speaking in agreement with god will change you too he's a type of the last day church he walked with god what do we do we walk with god he was translated by having the right words to say how are we translated mm -hmm. by having the right words to say changes us from glory to glory are you getting this yes. second peter chapter 1 20. knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake say holy men of god spake holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost so they spake what the holy ghost was saying yes. enoch as a prophet spake what the holy ghost was saying so he's speaking what the holy ghost said mm -hmm. is it your word you're speaking mm -hmm. no it's his word you're speaking when you speak his word you fundamentally believe that the words you're saying his words mm -hmm. have the ability to bring themselves to pass is this too difficult no. he said it first say he said it first he said it first you're walking with him by saying it he the holy ghost how can two walk together except they be agreed it's pretty easy you find out what he said and then you say it 
and you fundamentally believe that the words you're saying have the ability to bring themselves to pass I mean I realize I've preached on this a lot but the fact is every promise of God has God's ability and power already embedded in it intrinsically to bring itself to pass because he said it if I get in agreement with it it will bring itself to pass in my life mm -hmm. his word spoken is literally the engine of creation it supersedes all things God's Word and the power in God's Word supersedes all things well I don't believe that then you can't go here his spoken word transforms you it transforms you I'm trying to help you out here this is a fundamental belief you have to believe this and understand this his word has power to bring itself to pass already intrinsically in it when I get in agreement with it and speak it it transforms me it transforms me me don't transform me me can't transform me me can't even speak English it transforms me into something I wasn't before my testimony of the word transforms me into something I wasn't before are you here yeah. then I'm different oh you're different all right I'm different from the old me who wasn't transformed I hope I'm getting this across the spoken word transforms you you become the thing said if I say Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow what if I do that 20 minutes a day every day what's gonna happen I will become Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it yeah. I'm transformed from somebody that wasn't Proverbs 10 22 to someone who is that word spoken hopefully I can get this across to you when you're speaking God's Word being changed going from one glory to another mm -hmm. let his spoken word transform you don't think you know it all think you know what it means because the meaning of it will completely change when you're standing in it from when that wasn't even on your radar let his spoken word change and transform you into his thing into you know not what but it's his it's his thing well I want to walk with God with my feelings well how do you feel about it circumstances have a feel don't they so one circumstances feels one way another circumstance feels another way how about when a cop pulls up behind you and you're like uh -huh, what's that feel like <laughs> nobody likes that no. illnesses have a feeling mm -hmm. bank account amounts have a feeling yes. do they not mm -hmm. one amount feels one way another amount feels a different way yes. what you feel or think about a situation a circumstance or an account it's not what transforms you into something else let his spoken word transform you we're not talking about the circumstance or how you feel about it we're not talking about the bank account or how you're feeling about it let his word transform you you're looking at the wrong thing if you're looking at the body or you're looking at the bank account or you're looking at the situation or circumstance that's not what was transformed mm -hmm. God transformed him 
i'm really trying to get this across to you because a lot of people are trying to believe for circumstances to change god's not changing your circumstances he's changing you let his spoken word transform you you become a healed person when you're not healed yet you become a rich person when you're not rich yet you become a younger person when you're not younger yet because god transformed you into that word spoken are you here yes. this is how it happens mm -hmm. stop worrying about the feelings or the situation or the way you think about it let the speaking of his word transform you personally yes. genesis 39 2 and the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian say his master the egyptian, his master, the egyptian. you know what that means he was a slave he was made a prosperous man and then say and then and then. and then circumstances began to change to meet him yes say circumstances change, circumstances change to meet me. me i become a healed person and circumstances change to meet me the healed person yes i become a wealthy person and then circumstances change to meet me god changes you let his spoken word change you you are changed into the thing spoken and then circumstances catch up joseph eventually became the second in the kingdom mm -hmm. the king put everything into his charge but there's no quick fix there's only the fix and that's you changed people don't want it that way they just want their circumstances changed they want the situation changed are you here they want the bank account changed well too bad that's not how this works you get changed let the spoken word change you into the thing spoken the amount of time for that transformation to take place is up to you it's not up to god he's already sent his word there's a good scripture he sent his word and healed them yes. and delivered them from their destructions as far as god's concerned you're already healed and you're already delivered because he sent his word yes. now it's up to you for how long it takes you to speak in agreement with his word and let that word transform you into someone who is healed and someone who is delivered yes. and when you've done that and you're standing in that new reality sickness won't be a problem you will be healed you will be delivered mm -hmm. let his spoken word transform you change you carry you to a new reality because you can live in a completely different reality than you're living in right now leave the old you behind how are you going to get how are you going to get transported from one to the next mm -hmm. with your testimony the things you say it transforms you into knowing him in a way that you don't right now I know him in a way I didn't know him before and I couldn't know him before because I wasn't translated over here where I stand now yes. now I say this a lot you've heard it you've said it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words mm -hmm. there's kind of two parts to that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and how you walk with him well I spend much time on the first part of it 
because it is so foreign and unfamiliar to most people including Christians knowing him and how to walk with him in the earth is priceless and when you do learn who he is and how to do it and you begin to put his words in your mouth things will change quickly things will change faster than you even thought possible but don't stop it by going back and thinking about the old you because the new year was better the new you is transformed the new you is going on and has nothing but glory left in front of you mm -hmm. so step forward and step into the new glories that have been prepared for you in this day in this hour and you too will please god like enoch did and your testimony will translate you from one place to the next i'm being transformed by the spoken word of god say it i'm, I'm being, being transformed, transformed by the spoken, by the spoken word, of god. word of god stay with it stay on it and watch all the things change as they come to meet you the transformed one Amen. we worship you holy ghost we thank you that your blessing is on these people now and they're being transformed quickening them according to the word that is spoken out their mouth we thank you for it in jesus name amen, amen. see you on the other side if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i thank you that you are a god of wealth and because you're a god of wealth and I speak in agreement with your words. I am changed into a wealthy person. Wealth and riches be in my house. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven. Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God.